For our third international team playing in the World Cup, let's talk about El Tri, that being the nickname for the Mexican national team, that coming from the red, white, and green of their national flag. They've been managed by Tata Martino for the last couple years, who has an informed but kind of rigid style of play, and they're captained by Andres Guardado, who is about to become their all-time appearances leader in his own right, with just one more appearance for the national side. As I've mentioned, El Tri, or the tricolor, take their colors from the green, white, and red of the Mexican flag, that being employed for their home kits, generally in a green shirt, white shorts, red socks. Their home stadium is the Estadio Azteca in Mexico City. It's also nicknamed El Coloso or the Colossus, seeing as at almost 88,000 seats, it is the biggest and finest stadium in all of the Latin American countries. It's held two World Cup finals as some of the most important moments in footballing history, such as the game of the century between Italy and West Germany in 1970, as well as Diego Maradona's Hand of God goal and his goal of the century. They're the most successful nation in the CONCACAF region, having won eight Gold Cups and three CONCACAF championships, which was the predecessor to the Gold Cup, making that kind of 11 total titles. Beyond that, they took the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup and won the 2012 Summer Olympics. I'm not going to talk about a lot of former players for Mexico, seeing as I've mentioned a lot of them in videos about clubs from Mexico previously, so let's just get right into the preview of the World Cup and what's going to be important for Mexico this time around. The big thing for me is forging a new identity for El Tri, seeing as traditionally most of the players in the side have come from the domestic league in Mexico, whereas in the last decade and a half or so, some of the best Mexican talent is going abroad to play in European leagues, which is good experience, but it does mean for the national side there's a lot of conflicting styles of play in the players going into the mix. The key thing for Tata Martino is, can he blend all these players together into one single form of play? His style of play is one of a measured buildup, primarily focusing on passing out of the back from their center backs, focusing on ball retention and passing primarily, meaning that Mexico isn't prone to firecracker moments to score goals out of nowhere. They play a very common 4-3-3 formation, and I really only have three question marks as to the players that are going to be in their starting 11. That being who's the second center back alongside Hector Moreno, if Tata goes with the tried and tested trio of Edson Alvarez, Hector Herrera, and Guardado in midfield, or if he switches out one of those last two wise men for Eric Gutierrez, and who their striker is going to be. Generally, I'd say it's a slam dunk that's going to be Raul Jimenez, but seeing as he hasn't played for Wolves since August through injury, I think that also opens the door potentially for Henry Martin through his experience with the national team, or for the younger upstart in Santiago Jimenez because he has hit the ground running at Feyenoord in Europe. As far as the center back question, I think it's a coin flip. If Tata wants to be more aggressive in defense, it should be Nestor Arroyo. If he needs to cover for Hector Moreno not being as fast as he used to be while retaining a lot of the passing ability, I think it should be Cesar Montes, who would be my choice. And as far as goalkeeper, there's no need to guess who it's going to be. It's going to be Memo Ochoa, who pops up with incredible form during tournaments like clockwork, just like Mariah Carey showing up for Christmas season. As far as their wingers, Chucky Lozano is obviously a lock on one wing, with the other wing probably having been Tecatito if he wasn't injured. My man in there would be Alexis Vega, which means that Chucky Lozano probably has to move to the right wing where he doesn't play as commonly to accommodate Vega and his creative style. Mexico consistently get out of the group stage in World Cups, and I don't see it being any different this time around. Probably as runners-up, seeing as Argentina is in their group. The problem here being that they're going to run smack dab into France in the round of 16, and I don't see them surmounting that. 